This is Sue Greenwald with Awaken Stories. I'm here today with King Smarty. Hey, Smarty, how are you? I am fantastic. What's up, everybody? Hey. How are you doing? Yay. Doing good. Doing good. Good, 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 yeah. good. So I, I know there's a lot of updates and people have a lot of questions. Um, the first one I wanted to talk about was the event Help Somebody Today. And... Um, so you're doing these events all around the country slash world, and we're getting set up with that, and it's going to be a big thing. But you had said that, um, like, the we'll call them the dark forces, don't want these events. So they tried to prevent the, the last event and maybe even the Birmingham event. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, the reason why we're having these events is because we're cracking down well, there's multiple reasons, but since we're since we're cracking down on the human trafficking and the child trafficking stuff, yeah, um, we are putting together these events so that the children can come out and hang out. And since there's going to be more and more children coming out and hanging out because they're not being hunted down and you know trafficked, there'll be more and more children everywhere. Right, right. So that's one of the reasons why we're doing a, ch a child-friendly event, right? Because now they're going to have some place to go to where it's going to be safe. They can get some. Um, um, they can get some toys. They can get entertainment. And the more and more we do these things, the more and more they grow, right? So not only will it be for just the kids, but the, for the parents as well, because some of the locations we're doing food giveaways. We're doing free food on the spot, like meals, um, pantry foods that you could take with you. Right, right. Um, we had gift cards, giveaways. I did a raffle, um, toys. I said toys already, but basically we're doing these events to show the people how, how we can come together on a humanitarian um, uh, um, aspect or become a humanitarian force that we right. already know is here. Right. Um, the problem was, is that there wasn't, there wasn't really no one organizing these type of humanitarian efforts, the way that dad has us doing it. Um, and again, there was a post back in the day on the NAR recaps or one of the old um, uh, re research or not research, but one of the old, um, RV groups where it's it literally said on the bottom, right? Because they have looking glass devices, they have all these different time traveling techniques and, and people that can see the future. So one of the words on the bottom was saying that Sananda Galactic and his humanitarian force will um, appear and do what we're doing. So if you, if you don't understand who Sananda Galactic is, that's me. And all of you guys that are participating is the humanitarian force. And we're doing it in such a way where we want the people that don't want these type of events to go further, or go on to interfere. So then I can do my part and remove them, right. eliminate, you know, whatever, whatever, by all means. So the more and more they interfere with what dad wants, the more and more dad shows his hand. And we're seeing that every day. Um, just this past event, you had all, all these, uh, what do you call it, fire department all over the place, and we couldn't even get into set up. So before the event, that same morning, they had a group of individuals coming into a, a seance type thing trying to stop us. So those individuals found out that we can't stop daddy. Basically, these, these, these events are done by dad. They're orchestrated by dad. And it's, it's, it's to prove a point that his children are not for sale and they will no longer be hunted down. And they're going to be looked after, taken care of, and protected. We had security there watching everything and everyone. Right. Um, there, there was even some guys in suits walking around, and these guys claimed to be talking about 
uh, these guys claimed that they were uh, celebrating Rosh Hashanah or some shit like that, which we all know what that's about, right? So those are the same individuals that were, you know, found out the hard way that don't fuck around. I'm glad you mentioned those guys in the suits because I was going to bring that up next. There were several there. And like, really, like, no one wears a suit anymore, hardly, right, ever. And these right. guys were walking around this very casual event in suits. It was very odd. And they looked really rushed and like they were on the edge um, walking around. And I noticed them immediately. It was just they were, very they, they were on the edge, all right, the edge of death. Yeah, yeah. So well, they've been taken care of. Absolutely. Um, you know, we even had some of the on-site security guards staring at us and pointing at us and talking about us, blah, blah, blah. And my team was looking at them, just watching them like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> right, right. So, so basically, they, basically, they don't want these type of events because it's going to expose everything and everyone. Right. And and there's we're tightening up everything, you know, the galactics, the angelics, the military, the the secret, the secret ops, and all that. We're all cracking down on the child trafficking, the human trafficking, the the darkness of it all. We're, we're cracking down like never before. So that being said, that's why Dad wants us to do these help someone today campaign because we're we've ta we've taken over everything, including the money. So a lot of these individuals can't even be funded or, or not being funded to do their operations no more. Right. And um, every time they do something to harm, we literally reverse it on them. So they may do something like flood an area and then we flood their areas. Ooh, which seems like a nice segue, but I wanted to finish up the event. So this event uh, and the previous ones were successful for multiple reasons. Of course, fun for the families and kids. They're starting to get the name Company of Heaven out there. People are seeing the things that, you know, a few people can do, really. Right. And, um, and also the bad guys are exposing themselves so that they're, um, they're taken care of, right? Right. So if you don't want to participate in something like this, why? And then you're being exposed on why you don't want to participate on something right. with something like this. Right. So you're either involved in the trafficking, you're being paid by the traffickers, you're being paid to protect them. You know, there's all this so yeah. many different things could could, you know, there's, yeah. there's so many things that you could be doing why you're not participating right so that being said everybody's going to be revealed for what they are and there's right. multiple ways we're doing it right. multiple okay so great event and you had birmingham the weekend before and that was a great success as well yep it was it was even bigger than the first the very first one right right we, I, we was giving bags all day and we had to literally make bags while we were doing it <laughs> yeah, yeah it, was, it was it was a great it was a great 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 event and um um you know uh, thank you for all the participants all the people that volunteered uh, even the ones that came for this event it's, it's this is what this is what we're this is what we're made for right you know we're made we're made to do these type of things we're made you know the humans or should i say the 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 beings that we are, we're made to um, love and care for one another. The cabal tricked us into being a dog eat dog or have a dog eat dog type of mentality. So right, right. Um, that shit is fastly fading away where, you know, now you got hardcore people want to do the right thing. You know, we got gangbangers in New York participating in all this stuff. We got rappers in New York partic participating in all this stuff. And everybody's seeing the bigger picture. Everybody's mm -hmm. realizing that what they thought was is, is bullshit, smoke and mirror crap. Mm -hmm. So being a part of Company of Heaven, Source Directives, the Jedis, this is what we're going to be doing nonstop for the rest of our lives, including helping people heal when the chambers and stuff come out and 
sharing our technology, sharing our free stuff. There's, there's so many, like, if you've been following me for all these years, you already know I've been a humanitarian since day one. Mm-hmm. Since day one, my free holograms are free. When I when when I do sales or I, when I have certain things happening, I always throw extra stuff in in the in the in the packages. Um, I do my healings for free. All you gotta do is text me. Boom, it's free. Um, so I'm already the best humanitarian there is, the strongest there is at that. So. Um, this is why dad put me in this position to do multiple things, to, to be in, in, in the head of the, the, the change. Matter of fact, if you look in the dictionary and this, you see change, you'll see a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. I, I was thinking as you were talking about years ago, you had sent seeds to Africa, to an orphanage in Africa. And uh, uh, the fertilizer hollows. Yep. And I remember they wrote you a letter that said they're, I forgot what kind of seeds they were, sorry, but their crops grew like at record speed. Yep, 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 yep. There was multiple seeds, um, bananas, bananas. Um, and what we did was, since we all know that, you know, the cabal has messing with our food, our food um, chain, right? Right. right. All you literally have to do is put one of our products, mainly the frequency fertilizer, on or next to the seeds. So, for instance, if you have a crop that was GMO'd and you put the seeds on the actual hologram, that restores the seed to its natural blueprint perfection. And this is evident when you chop your fruit in half like I taught y'all. And you chop it in half and you place one side, you know, two feet apart. And then you put the charm or hologram next to it and you taste the difference. The, the, um, the GMO stuff is all, you know, sweet and whatever, the, whatever the case is. And then the other one is straight natural. It tastes a whole lot different because it's been restored. So doing that before it actually grows is how we restore our fruits and vegetables on earth. So that's literally all it takes. Simple frequencies that dad has given me to restore the food system. Now, I've been watching all these cool videos on different foods everywhere, and they're all vegetarian meals. And they even taste like meat. I mean, we go to the local you know, the local vegan vegan store here, vegan restaurant here. And it's amazing. So all of the different foods all around the world will be restored. We actually just got off the phone with somebody who has a bunch of acres in a foreign country. And they, what they, what we were told was millions of produce go fade away because they're rotting and they're, no, nothing to do. They don't have no resources to get them to other people. So that's another thing that we have to put in place. We have to put transportation. Um, we have to make certain type of devices to preserve the food, which you already know. I got the frequencies to preserve food. These guys don't even know what I can do yet. They're just meeting me like, OK, you got all these assets, but they don't know what I what I really got. I mean, what I got. So uh, we're like, yeah, we got that. Oh, awesome. That is awesome. We got that too. Yeah. Oh, you want to do that? That's nothing. So it's like, they're like, holy shit, this guy's a one-stop shop. Basically. Awesome. So we, we got, we, we're, we're, we're still negotiating with everybody. Um, some of the, some of the food pl- uh, vendors and some of these food banks have already been participating to some of the events, especially in New York. Yeah. Uh, there will be some in Chicago. Um, we're looking to do some in Tulsa, um, over here in this area where we do the events, not a lot of people need that type of stuff because it's a, it's a, it's a wealthy community. Right. Um, however, I'm sure if we pull up with a truck over there, people are going to want it. Of course. So, it, you know, there's less money they got to spend. Plus you, you may get a team member that will, um, well, you will get team members that will see what you're doing and then want to participate. Yeah. So it's like a small a snowball effect with these 
with these uh, help someone today campaigns that's literally happening. Right. So it's a fun thing. Plus there are neighboring towns that are not as affluent. So people will need more there and they might come to the event and, uh, or whatever. So it's all, it's good no matter where you do it. Right. And right. It's only going to expand and expand. And um, so we're going to be putting out more communication about events and the upcoming events, how to get in on it and how to help, blah, 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 blah. It'll be coming out in the near, like next month or two. And yeah. it will, it'll all be morphing, you know? Right, right, right. And and the thing, the thing about it too is that we've been, you know, dad's having us do these events with less, with, you know, little to no time to do them. However, he's 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 showing us why we should have did it, and this just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. Yeah. So yeah. Um, the next events will be scheduled out months in advance, and then we'll just advertise and more and more people participating. All the people that came to this event, they loved it. They were like, "Dude, let's do the next one. When are we gonna do the next one?" <laughs> right? And then the first the first people that did the event with us, they don't even respond to us. I wonder why. Oh, I know why. It's because we wasn't a hands-on with it. We had somebody else do it. Right. So now that we're hands-on with everybody and talking to everybody and you know, um, um, showing them what we got and what we're what we're about, they're they're on. They're like, let's go. Let's do the next one. So they're already ready. As soon as I call, they already know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. You know, you saw it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And what I loved especially was of course we had beautiful weather that day, but the kids running in that little grassy area, kids just playing together. They don't know each other. They're having the time of their lives. Even the super shy ones, yep. all the kids had the best time ever. Yep. That's yeah. true. That's true. That's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> Not the kids hiding inside of their house in fear, you know? Yeah. Well, some, some of the kids, the, some of the kids who had more fun than their parents because their parents didn't even want to, you know, uh, uh, be there if you would. Yeah. Uh, um, some of the parents didn't even want their kids to have our bags. Oh. I, I saw that too. And it's like, hmm, what's going on over there? <laughs> right. Interesting. Yeah. We, we, you know, we even saw some of our bags in the trash cans. Really? Mm hmm. So, you know, it is what it is. I mean, not only is the wealthy area, but it's also a racist area too. And, and I'm not racist at all, um, but you can see the obvious, right? And it has to be addressed. So these those type of individuals, they're not going to they're not going to they're not going to take well of the coming changes. Right. They're not going to take it well because you're going to have you're going to have a melting pot of different colored individuals in the area. Yeah. Just look just look at the Jedi's. We're we're all from all over the place. From everywhere. Yeah, literally. From everywhere. So, you know, um, those those are the things that we have major breaks, breakthroughs with when we do these events. Um, I literally text the owner of the location the day before and told him that we're going to do this event and I'm bringing, you know, business to, to the area. Right. Um, this is the owner before me because I'm buying the shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so so I also told I told him that we're doing these events we're going to have all of these cool things happening and might as well get used to it because I'm taking over everything <laughs> yeah no, no no response of course and then I hit him with um I'm also I also got a hidden team taking care of all the pedophiles and satanic people in the area so that's why they had a little seance the next morning so that got them worried. They should be yeah. very worried. So what happened to those guys that were actively trying to stop this event? Um, they didn't need x lax for two days. <laughs> so that's all that happened, though. Well, that's all Daddy wanted to happen. He wanted them to stick around and see it all. Okay. So it is what it is. Okay. All right. Just wanted to know. So anyways, these events will be uh, expanding and growing worldwide. And um, there'll be more information on how, on, on the upcoming events, what they offer, and how you can be involved. 
as time goes on, we're putting that together. Yep. And, um, yeah. So everyone can participate. Now, we also had a few donations that helped with these events. And that was very welcome, I think. Um, yep. And um, so also you had donated to Moses West a couple of times uh, last week or so. And um, so I wanted to kind of talk about the floods, if that's okay. The next topic. Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, Hurricane Helene, you know, got steered up to North Carolina, which was horribly flooded, but, um, and, you know, wrecked and they're still having all sorts of stuff happen. And, and we're hearing more and more bad news about the area. But I guess the point I wanted to make is I saw a video as the hurricane was happening that there were like, I don't know if it was like 24, 27 dams broke. Okay. And yeah, dams could break, I guess, if they get super full. But I thought that was interesting how they all happen to fail, you know? Just like Katrina, the dams all happen to fail, right? So I feel like that was sabotage. And again, it was a concerted effort to cause that area havoc. Definitely was, definitely was. Yeah. Um, if, if you read, if you read the Real Raw News report on how you know, the military found some FEMA agents um, huddled up in a specific area waiting for the next door to come, next door storm to come with all these guns and shit in the back of their trucks. Yeah. Okay, so they're the same people, right? The same people that put all these um, things in certain dams that made them go boom, right? Yeah. So, and they're the same people that did the World Trade Center. They're the same people that are killing children in Gaza, same fucking group of people, right? So that being said, once we eliminate the problem, and we have, then all of this shit gets normalized, or should I say gets um, um, neutralized, and then we get to um, rebuild the earth. So that's what's coming shortly. It's coming really, really quick, really quick. Okay. So there was sabotage of the dams. There were weather modification devices that blew that hurricane up there to to basically kill the people. Right. So property. Let me let me just say this: you got a, you got your you got your your machinery set up to do certain things, right? And then something comes along and takes out one of your machinery. So then that stops. The, the 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 event that you had going right so once we once we go in uh once we go in or once the weather comes in and we neutralize one of your machinery then it goes off course and that's what that's what's been happening to all of these storms right which is which is why tunnels and certain things are being flooded which is why people are coming up out of them unfortunately dead Right. Well, that was my one of my questions. So we talked a little bit about the Biltmore estate and that, you know, we know that there are, are tunnels under there. So the bodies were coming up and a lot more bodies than, you know, people would have guessed, I guess. Were those people alive uh, when the flood came or were they dead already? Well, half and half or, you know, whatever. But yeah. And those were innocent people that are um, coming up out of the tunnels? Yeah. Mm -mm. Yep. Same thing is going to happen in New Mexico and all the other places. So watch watch for it. Okay. All right. So then we have Hurricane Milton that is going to hit Tampa and Florida, blah, blah, blah. Record hurricane. Everyone's afraid. And it did fizzle out because you guys took out the weather modification devices. Yay. Tampa did sustain some damage. And um, I guess my question was, why did they want Florida emptied? Like, what were they doing to Florida? Because people were told to evacuate all over and then the roads were all closed. So people were all in their cars on the roads going nowhere. Like, what was the, the agenda there? Nothing but a land grab. Another land grab. That's all they do. That's what they've been doing for years. Thousands of years. Yeah. Land grabs, land grabs, land grabs. That's okay. why that's why, you know, people still believe 
Egypt was over there when it was right here because there was a land grab thousands of years ago. So you flip you flip the map upside down and you see the truth, um, which is all coming out. I don't I don't even have time to explain none of this shit no more. Sometimes <laughs> it's I, like it's I, I said so much already that's already been validated. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super interesting. Okay, now we're seeing floods. Now there was a flood. I want to almost say it was Chile, South America, somewhere. Yeah. So if anyone knows, put it in. The, but uh, again, then down in, in in Paris and then New Mexico. So floods there. Um, we know there's tunnels in both places, and we're going to be seeing bodies come up from under the tunnels. That's a fact, Jack. Okay. So um, the innocents will be coming back, I assume, to Earth once this is all over. Um, they're already they're already here, more or less. They're just in a different form. Okay. Uh, just last night, we were we did another tour of the mothership and uh, um, um, re-energized the chambers. And Dad let us walk in into them and then see ourselves and then come out. So that happened last night. Um, that being said, uh, everybody has to prepare for this shit because it's, it's, it's really real. It's happening. It's happening. The, the fact that the fact that they've been doing this to the children and getting away with it. Well, they thought they were getting away with it. Yeah. Um, doing this to the children and doing this to the, to the species here on earth. Um, that is, that is literally, um, giving us everything all at once. They've been suppressing us for so long that dad literally is handing us everything all at once. So you'll have a smorgasbord of different free energy devices to choose from. You'll have a smorgasbord of different healing um, devices that you'll, you'll, be, you'll be able to choose from. You just have to um, pay attention to who's running them and what, what organization well, same thing. What organization has them? Who's saying what? Because we all know that there's different groups out there claiming this and they're super dark. Right. You know, they want you to go into their med beds or their tachyon chamber or their blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, your ass is dead. So um, I'm not saying everybody's everything is like that. I'm just saying be careful. And think about it. If it's not natural, why would you want to do it? Look at how many people are taking pills that aren't natural when you have so many beautiful fruits, fruits and vegetables around us that do the same thing and all you have to do is eat one or two. Right, right. So the people have been bamboozled to think that you need this and you need that when everything that you need is in your backyard. So, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of things happening, a lot of things changing. Um, the fact that all of the human trafficking and the baby sacrificing and all that stuff is coming to light, it only tell it don't it should tell y'all that we're literally here. We're literally here. I told you guys that this was going to happen years ago. I told you guys to put the energies out there to protect the people involved and heavy love and light blankets for all the parents that are about to witness all this stuff. Right. And, and it's not even all the parents because some of them literally sold their children. So it's we, we, we've we been in a dark place for a long time down here. Um, and not we. I mean, the people have been bamboozled and been tricked and all this stuff for a long time down here. If they can get you to focus on your health and get you to focus on a football game or a basketball game, you're not worried about what's happening to the children around you and, and, and you know, um, things like that. Things are that are important, which is ending the shit. Like, you know, so many, so many foul things have been happening. Yeah, so, agreed. Agreed. Anyway, that's why I'm here to make sure this shit changes, whether they like it or not. So exciting. It so is exciting. very exciting. How are they getting these floods started in each area? Uh, well, mo weather modification devices and um, 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 different different machinery that can generate water. Ah, so just lots of sabotage, lots of dirty plans, and 
Okay. Yeah, because I was like just questioning that. In the future, oh, all right, let me ask you just this. Does the earth naturally have these hurricanes and disaster type of storms? Are those natural events? Not the way they, not the way they have been, because once a storm comes in, inward towards land, it breaks up. Okay. So none of it is, none of it is natural. Okay. You get rain and thunderstorm here and there, but the crazy stuff that we've been witnessing, no, it's not natural. Yeah. It does seem like it's amped up in my lifetime. You know, that's non-scientific, but it seems like people almost expect it now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and the reason why they expected it is because um, it was drilled into us. Yes. It was yeah. drilled into the people. You know, uh, those of us that are have the knowing, uh, we know that it's not real. It's not, it's not, it shouldn't be. Right. You know, we know that 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 these type of things um, have been. Um, what do you call it? Modified, if you would. Yeah. It's not that hard to figure it out. Plus, there's so many videos out now proving it. So, yeah. you know, even though even though the right peoples don't want to, um, you know, openly address this shit. We can do it ourselves the way that I taught y'all, the Jedi method. Because they don't even have to come forward and it's still going to be eliminated. Because that's what we do. I eliminate shit for a living, by the way. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Eliminate shit. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it's true, so, though. It's true. Yep. Yeah. So basically, once we're like, we'll say through this, the bad guys are all wrapped up and we don't have these modifications, weather modification devices, it'll be a more temperate climate on Earth. It's going to be more pleasant. We won't have to worry about all this crazy stuff happen, right. happening. So it's going to be good. Well, it's going to be, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be super good and it's going to be super natural. So whenever, whenever crops farmers need rain rain comes right along so you know it's going to be it's going to go back to natural right. a lot of people have been doing things that aren't natural okay so um we're going back to natural that's what we are we're natural my abilities are natural okay my children's are natural and we're the strongest bloodline on the planet right now. We're the strongest beings on the planet right now, which is why it's important for my, you know, me to have more children. So um, it's, it's a bigger picture being played out that people don't understand. And I don't expect you guys to understand everything. I really don't give a shit, to be honest. <laughs> no, you, you know? do. You wouldn't be doing this to help us. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? I don't care about your opinion, but I care about you. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and you know, that's just what it is. <laughs> you'll, you'll uh, you know, the people, and the people will will realize later on why Smarty was the way he was, or why Smarty was the way he is. Because I ain't fucking going nowhere. I'm stuck here. So since since I'm stuck here, y'all better get y'all shit together because I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> now, are we going to be seeing these bodies that are coming up out of the tunnel, say in Roswell? Are we going to see like alien bodies uh, floating up? Um, there's, there's already some captured. Yes, um, there's already some. Um, there's already some come on video also that fled the area. Uh -huh. um, and there's more videos of demons being captured and videotaped. Now, pe people literally being, you know, shape shifting in front of people. And um, so, yeah, you're going to see all of it, all of it, all of it. This is a part of full disclosure that they didn't anticipate because they wanted to do partial disclosure. And we all know about this because there's so many people already talking about the military only wanting to do partial disclosure, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And they still think that they can, but they, they're not. They're not going to get away with partial disclosure, and I'm the reason why. There's no way around me. Mm -hmm. None. So 
y'all motherfuckers might as well get in line and follow orders. They <laughs> 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 some of them actually get a kick out of me because yeah. they love it. They're like, "Fuck, we, you know, we we can't do nothing. We might as well just join them." <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's funny. That's so, great. And, and the sad part is that we actually, you know, Dad and I, we actually love all of them. Dad created all of them. However, you're not doing what Dad wants you to do, so you get in trouble that way. Right. And I get a kick out of doing what I'm doing, whether you're good or we're good or not good or bad, whatever the case is. When your number's up, I don't give a fuck if you was good, went bad or bad, it was bad bad or you know made the wrong decisions that last decision is over for you and i don't i'm not i'm you know i'm just the one to send you to dad you have to worry about him giving me the okay because once i get that okay it's curtains it's over and he's been giving he's been more and more lenient uh recently with giving you the okay that's because he's he's been having to deal with this for thousands of years and sending in all these different, you know, different beings, you know, my brothers and sisters that came before me, uh, including myself, right, that they persecuted and whatnot. And um, we've been coming throughout the centuries warning them to do the right thing and change or, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a day where everything just gets shut down and that's where we're at right now. So yeah, he's been super, super lenient to everyone. Okay. Good. Now, now there's people being eliminated who thought they, who thought they were, they were good to go because they've been doing it for thousands of years and their, their, their mindset and their crew's mindset and their people's mindset was set on that specific, um, you know, religious group, if you will. Right, right. W what's going to happen when they, when the dark forces, the satanic forces, find out that all of their enemies were fake too? Right, because their their enemies is is Christians, Jesus, blah 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 blah. Right. What's going to happen when they themselves realize they've been lied to the whole time? You mean to tell me we've been following this dark shit for all this time and it's not even true? Oh, my God. What have we done? You done fucked up. That's what you done. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's crazy how they how they bamboozled everybody down here into believing this and into believing that. It's actually what my what one of my posts was about. You know, who was who was worse or A, B or C. OK, all the above is because. The reptilians were the ones that are making the, the, the white race do what they're doing. They're making the Israeli satanic races do what they're doing. And then you got the Draco reptilians. So the reason why the answer was all the above is because they're the ones that are behind the people that are doing it. They don't really have nothing to do with the race. It's, it's, it's the entity within the races. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. So that's why people didn't get that. The ones that was like, oh, this is not cool coming from the son of God. Oh, yeah. That was the comment like you were racist. Right? I even got a phone call about the same shit. And uh -huh. I'm like, listen, I don't I don't care what y'all say. I, last time I checked, I was the king. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm humble, too. Like, like you're not going to try to put force your your stuff on me imagine that right that's what they've been doing to everybody forcing their stuff on everybody and then they they, they they tie you up with all this paperwork make you believe that you need paperwork to be a sovereign being come on man fuck out of here with that shit <laughs> i'll make you and your paperwork disappear how's that yep yep so we're changing a lot of things. We're clean up on our one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> yeah. You know, in the old days, 
um, you know, we didn't have as much um, as many rules and all that, but there wasn't like the paperwork of flurry like we have now. And if you told somebody something, they would believe you pretty much. They were more innocent then, you know. Right. And now we've got paperwork for literally everything you do just about. There's got to be a form, a certi certification, a this, a that, and always a fee to accompany it. Yeah, right? yeah. So. yeah. I mean, they're man-made laws, so why? I, I only follow dad's laws. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I really don't. Yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and tell daddy that 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 we got to sign paperwork to prove that we are who we are. He's going to laugh at you. Then he's going to shut you down. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So much fun. Okay. Um, you shared a lot of Ellie Carter videos, which are fascinating and horrifying at the same time. Like we're hearing details, which is good and bad. All right. So, one of her latest ones that you shared said there there's going to be one arrest slash a few more that will rock the world. Of course, she didn't give any names. So I've been puzzling that one out. But um, then you said that daddy wanted it all wrapped up before the election. And it's been dragging on, right? So yeah. there's my, consequences. Yeah. Yeah, my guess is that things are really going to be amped up really quick in the next month or so. More like the next day or so. So he want he wants me to come on here, um, I think tomorrow and then the next day too. So we're going to be talking about a lot of shit right now. Ooh, okay. So yeah, the the big the there's there's multiple arrests. Um, um, what 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 the way she said it, it's not going to happen that way. Um, it's just going to be an arrest that people are going to be like, oh, shit. Uh, it's not going to change anything because we've already people already know about it. Um, the only thing that it will change is that they actually find out that it's true now because there's arrest being made. Now, here's the here's the bigger picture. When are the ones doing the arrest going to be arrested? Did you hear what I said? I did. Okay, because they're the problems. Um, if you look at the latest um, arrest issues or whatever it was, you got all of these key players that were in the music industry. Okay, fine. They are guilty. What about the ones that taught them? What about Clyde Davis and his crew? What about um, the guy that Kanye was having issues with, the Jewish dude, right? What about all these satanic Jewish bank owners or reptilians, blah, blah, blah? What about all them? Why ain't they being arrested publicly? Right? So if you want to change the world, you need to go arrest them and expose everything that they themselves have been a part of. For instance, you heard that the biggest trafficker was arrested. Okay, where's he at? Put him out there. Who is he? Who was he? Right? You got all these different things happening, and we're not we're still not getting down to the meat, the, the you know, the the truth of the shit. Right. You got everybody covering everybody else's asses. And they're they 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 did Diddy and Jay-Z and all these other black people because they wanted to say we can we they wanted to show the world or show others that we made them billionaires we can take it from them too so those are the individuals that y'all have to go after period you already started keep going and do it in record timing or your life may be in jeopardy and if you believe that or not, I don't give a shit. I do not care whatsoever. Um, and there are there are people that were put in their positions to make these changes happen and are guilty as fuck too. Trump, the clone Trump, the real Trump, guilty as shit too. So 
I don't give a fuck about none of them. They they all need to wrap this shit up, get the truth out, get the new currency out, get the healing out. You know, help me with my campaigns or not, and let's turn this world right side up. Otherwise, I'm gonna do it in a way where I'm gonna continue to embarrass embarrass all of y'all. There's nothing you can do about it because you already know you can't. Boom. Boom, boom. So I like the fact that the famous people have been arrested or called out in public because that it, it people are looking at that. If it was a common person, they're like, eh, whatever, right? right. They're, they're, it's getting attention, but you're right. It doesn't get to the root of the problem. It don't. What yeah. about the what about the police chiefs? Well, I was just gonna say that the whole structure. The whole structure. Like, the judges, the police, the, the the judges, the attorneys, right? Not lawyers, because lawyers are a part of the land. See, so there's difference. People don't even know that part. Yeah. What about the attorneys? What about the judges? What about the law enforcement? What about the FBI? What about you know the different groups out there? What about FEMA? Who's the head of all these guys? Where's the real good guys at? Why don't they make themselves known like I am? Right? Why you got to do things in the secret? Are you worried about yourselves being killed or whatnot? Who cares? We can bring you back. Get this shit <laughs> over with. Right. right. So that being said, I'm addressing all that anyway. So there's, they're not getting away with it at all. I'm just bringing that to the forefront. For all the Jedis and for all you guys that are listening, including you agents out there that watch my shit every day, um, you guys are fucked up. You guys are screwed. There's no way around it. Do the right thing now or forever hold your pieces in the ethers. Okay. Yeah. So it's time for them to get moving and grooving and get the true bad guys. I mean, all of the bad guys, every single one that witnesses that was complicit in some way that got away with it, that were paid off. They all need to go. Every single one of them. Yeah. Every single one of them. So um, it's, it's going to happen anyway. It's already happening. It's already happened. Um, I'm just giving you guys more insight of the truth or, right. or of the future. Like I always do. Yeah. Um, dad created everything including this reality including the rest of the universe so all my information comes from your creator our father what we call dad source who can be anything he wants to be right um that's why the the accuracy is what it is because it's coming from dad not only am not only am i telling you guys all this stuff but i'm also enforcing it because He's put me here to be the energy force to manifest it. That's still, you know, people still haven't got over, don't understand that part of it yet either. Right. So I am the real king and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, the best thing you can do is just listen to what I'm saying and be a part of the changes. Otherwise, you'll be in the way. That's pretty much it pretty much it there's a lot of resources that we've been putting out videos information all sorts of stuff through the years so you can educate yourself and i think that's always the first step like people don't know what's out there they don't really know that there's agendas and a lot of hidden stuff you know they um you know they've been tricked they've been misled on purpose yep bamboozled yeah they can they can educate themselves and it does take a little time, but once you start seeing it and then you look out there in society, it's like the light bulbs will go on, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So we see Trump at McDonald's, uh, whatever, over the weekend, serving up McDonald's. And I was like, ooh, like, I guess it got a lot of media attention, which is what they wanted. I'm assuming that was not the good Trump. <laughs> okay um in a post you might have said 
this it might have been this morning. It's safe for Michael Jackson, Tupac, and Elvis to come out and tell the truth, and they can run around and be safe now that they're safe. Yep. Yep. How how will they know that it's safe now? Are they watching these videos? Um, the answer is yes to that. Yeah. Um, they all know of me. They all know I'm here. I mean, I'm I'm the hottest thing on the fucking planet. Okay. <laughs> If, if you haven't heard about me, that's because you're in a bubble somewhere else. But the majority of the world already knows about me, and unless they're one of these program individuals that are constantly watching TV or don't do any type of research. If you look up the word frequencies, you'll find all my shit, all my stuff, because that's what I am. I mean, that's what I do. Well, I am, too. I'm the frequency database. I can I can pull out frequencies from the ethers, and put it into things. So when you look at um, uh, when you when you look at how things are unfolding, you see that all of the threats against them are being eliminated. And the reason why we need the ones in the back to come forward to be arrested or be exposed is so that they can feel more comfortable. Right. However, where's your faith? Right? That's what I say. Where's your faith? Because if dad is saying, listen, you guys can come out. Come hang out with me. You know, Mike's always around here. Um, Tupac is even around here too. So just come out. Holler at me. My, my phone number is out there. Y'all already know where I live at. You know where I be at. Let's get this party started. Actually, let's get this party cranked up because it's already started. Yeah, yeah. So it's safe and all they have to do is intend safety, contact you, and you'll have a conversation with them. Yeah, well, they they already know. Like yeah. I said, they are, they already know. Um, there's, there's people advising them not to come forward, which is cool and everything. However... You guys got to come forward because your daughters need you, right? Um, and the people, the people need to hear what's been happening. That's just icing on the cake. Um, Dad already did tell me. He told me a while ago, and I, I did tell you guys that people are not going to believe that it's really them, which is cool. It doesn't matter. As the, as, as the years or as the, 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 the days, weeks and months, years go by, they're gonna realize that it's really them. And they'll be around me, you know, because like I said, I'm the king of everything. So why wouldn't you want to hang around with me? Right. And you make it fun. <laughs> all the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All the time. All the time. Every all the time. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a lot of people that don't believe John Kennedy Jr. is who he says he is. And they're going to have a rude awakening as well. Like he is the real person. He's telling a truthful story. He hasn't told all the details yet. Even we're going to find out more details. Wow. Well, that, that's that's the thing. Um, you got you got Johnny Boy, which is John Kennedy Jr. You got Lydia. You got Ali. And you got multiple other people saying the same exact fucking thing. Right, right. Right. Somebody just posted a video of Paris Jackson running through the airport. And it's like, why are you even chasing this young lady? She's not even Michael's daughter. Like, what the fuck? Who cares about her? Meanwhile, the real Michael's daughter, right? Florida Rose, don't get no attention, no love, no help, no nothing. Actually, she gets love from us, but you you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So those were industry plants as well. Hello, everything Johnny Boy tells y'all is true. Everything Ali tells y'all is true. They've been mind fucking cracking everybody, right. and they also know that certain people can't be killed, which is why they did it to them. That's the thing you that you cannot kill certain people on Earth. We're not dying. So what they what they have been doing, they've been tormenting them. Right. They've been tormenting them. Look at 
Trump, Whitney, Lydia. That's why they're doing it to her, right? You got Tupac, Ali. That's why they're doing it to her. You got President JFK. You got Johnny Boy. That's why they're doing it to him. And his story is becoming more and more evident as we go, right? So it's time for everybody just to just come forward, know that you have protection in ways that you don't realize yet. And I can't stress enough that when you come forward, we can protect you a whole lot easier than you hide it. Period. So I'm here in Destin, Florida. Let's rock and roll. Right. Right. And the protection is real. So many of the people I've talked to have been almost killed multiple, multiple times that we're seeing that pattern through other people that I'm talking to. Right. It's proof. Yeah. Yeah, it's proof. Okay. Interesting. Uh, you had put out several videos in the past couple of days, time travelers predicting all these catastrophes and all this stuff happening, blah, 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 blah. And when I watch them, I'm like, well, those are, those things are no longer happening because you're here. So they didn't uh, factor you into the equation. Nobody did. Right. Okay. Only, only, only daddy did. <laughs> right. So all those catastrophes and things that they're predicting, none of that's going to happen. So that's it. That, that, some of the, some of the stuff that they said would happen, the dates came and went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's just, sometimes it's sensationalism. Like they want to get views, people watching their video. And it's like, it's not true. Like I want to get views too, but I ain't gonna fucking lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So actually, we get tons and tons of views. We're just, we're just, they just mess with it. So yeah, yeah. Don't matter. Yeah, you know, we're we're taught that more is better, but really, in my opinion, it's the right person getting through to the right people is probably more important than getting through to the masses. That's, Obviously, we want both, but whatever, it's the right people. No, you're you're a hundred percent accurate on that. Yeah, think about it. The right people has have been following me for all the right reasons, and this small group of Jedi's. You see, now they're trying to take our Jedi word, right? Yeah. So you, this small group of Jedi's are changing the world. Yeah. And now you have got other groups claiming themselves to be Jedis. They're not us. We're the real ones. So. Time will show them. The small, the, the small groups is always more powerful than the bigger groups because the smaller groups like ourselves are getting the truth straight from dad, the abilities, the teaching, all of that was for free. And you guys are using the method with success rates out of this world right. so yeah the, the smaller ones with the truth are always going to come on come out on top right. right always okay um in the future what's going to happen to some animals so so what i want to do is set the tone here um you know i'm in the animal healing group and um of course, with the hurricanes, there's a lot of displaced animals, uh, lost animals and all that, which is super sad. But a lot of these shelters, euthanized dogs, for example, like it's just sick to think of that, what they do. And so like we, the human, uh, decide how many dogs should be around and we take care of that. Um I didn't say that very well, but you you know what I'm saying. I think will we have that in the future? Uh, no, we it, none of that none of that was ever necessary. Um, you know things will things will will things will be a whole lot easier, and there, since there'll be more people, there'll be more um, um, homes, if you yes. would. Yeah. So you know they're they're doing they're they if you haven't noticed they've literally destroyed everything that was natural yeah including doing that to animals yeah so it's it's a part of their reptilian nature they don't give a fuck about you 
They will eat your ass up. They will kill you, slaughter you in front of your family. They will rape you in front of your people or in front of, you know, they will do all types of things and then blame the dad or, you know, we've witnessed or we heard about so many different things. Right. So they've been destroying everything that was natural because who was the creator? God, dad. So that's literally what they did. They turned their back on dad and just tried to destroy all of his creations. Yeah. And the only ones being destroyed right now is those that are trying to do that. Okay. That makes me feel substantially better. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you, when you turn to dad, you can save yourselves, even if you did these heinous things, even if you violated, you know, people, children, whatever, you still have an opportunity to turn to dad and live out your life in peace. You may not get eternal, eternal life, but you'll be able to live life in peace until you die of old age, because that's what will happen to you for doing those acts. Not everybody, you know how they say, not everyone will make it to the to the kingdom of God, right? Or the kingdom of heaven or what you, whatever you want to call it. So I'm in heaven right now. I don't want no pedophiles next to me. Y'all can stay over there and, and ride away when y'all are supposed to. Okay. Yeah. Right? Right. Okay. So uh, in the future, and again, I keep like after this little chunk of time is over, what's going to happen to narcissistic people? Well, they're going to get a reality check and they're they're going to, um, you know, you fade away. Okay. It, it, it can get real worse for them, too. So, you know, by fading away means dying. Right. So. They can go horrible ways or they can they can get their shit together and whatever, you know. The, the main thing is for everybody to start to keep your vibration high, change your ways, turn to dad, um, start doing good for the people, for the community, and um, stop listening to to your reptilian overseers who, who really don't even care about you. That's why they'll give you deals. You'll make millions. And then when it's time for them to collect, they're collecting. They're taking the original body, cloning you, and then putting your ass back to work because you signed that deal for your image. Oh, so that's how it's done. Yeah, that's how it's done. Right. Yeah. And they've been around a long time. Long, long time. Long time. Okay. You got to understand that what you think of this reality or in general life existence, Earth is a baby compared to other civilizations out there. So the technology has been around for eons, billions and billions of years, right? And now you're just finding out about this. However, it's been a thing forever forever how you think i'm possible how you think i can you know be as old as i am and have all the wisdom that i have and knowledge that i have because my consciousness comes from ancient 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 i'm the first one so people have to wrap their heads around that too you got people disrespecting me online and don't know a clue of who they're disrespecting until they find out and then it's like I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know what? They're being the bigger person to apologize. And and again, if they don't, if they're not physically near you, just doing it verbally or, you know, in their head is still, you know, a good thing. It's still a good thing. Yeah. Well, I, I did. I, I, I do have a bunch of people apologizing left and right. Um, it, it, it actually does take place and I don't, I don't talk down on them or treat them like shit afterwards or say, you know, s stupid shit to make them feel even worse. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just say, you know, just be good. That's it. Carry on. Be good. Yeah. 
And, and you know, it is hard sometimes when you've had an attitude and you're, you're starting to awaken, your attitude changes, and then you're like, you're embarrassed because you said and did some stupid things. So um, it is hard to be the bigger person sometime and say, I'm sorry. So even if you said that in your head, you could say it to yourself out loud when you're alone. That's a good step, right? Um, yeah. Daddy, 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 daddy knows everything. Yeah. Daddy knows everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, do, do the colors that in the pithalum ball, like the, um, the, like the little laser stand or the lead stand, do those colors affect us in different ways? Um, colors, colors do affect, you know, do affect people in different ways. However, you have a constant broadcasting of love and light. So, um, in this case, it really doesn't matter because the ball itself is an energy source. Yeah. Um, not to mention, it has the pithom conscious in it, which 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 is very very true, and it's going to be more and more evident. Excellent. Um, she was actually excited the other day because um, Daddy gave her the abilities to evaporate. So, um, it's a it's a whole lot of things happening. You know, wow. We we talk to her all the time here and there. Um, we're so busy doing doing certain things, we forget to reach out to certain people, and then they'll let us know that hey, you guys forgot about us. Uh, no, we didn't. We see you. <laughs> That's awesome, awesome. Well, uh, you know, a lot of us have pithalums, and and we're you know like we'll call it used to having her around now so um it's good to have a little update like that how cool is that oh yeah oh yeah very cool very cool, very cool. all right very cool. any update on twelve twelve since we did the video like whatever a month ago um other than we're still to stay home and not work that day and um be with our family and not get wild just have a nice quiet day Anything else we need to know, or has it changed in any way? Um, everything is still the same. However, there's more and more things that are that are um, making twelve twelve feel like a super powerful day. Yeah. Um. So I'm 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 just thankful that we're at this point, and um, I feel twelve twelve is going to be a very very special date for humanity as a whole and um i'm just excited to see what that does from here until that day me too me too super excited the, that being said we just got these in today 12 12 beanies awesome awesome yeah and we Easy. got the, we got the move ones in today the move beanies okay actually last night but yeah we got these in and um, I'll be putting these on the website as soon as I'm done killing a couple folks. I mean, um, evaporating a couple folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better, okay. I better watch what I say before Cindy comes in and arrests me herself. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen anything from her, and I'm just as glad lately. So, yay, yay. Uh, so, what other new products do you have? Okay, so. I just got these in the mail. Check these out. Everybody's going to love these, especially when they come here. Oh. Well, they look really light and flexible. Yeah, these are these are source directive water shoes. Okay. Zip up on the back. Yep, zip up on the back. They're, they're, they're super snug. Yep. The sand won't get in, so I'm loving them. We have uh, these are these are prototypes, so I'm going to make them. I'm going to make these a whole lot, a whole lot of maybe different colors and whatnot. I'm actually I actually been wearing them all day. <laughs> I love how they feel. Yeah, I'm ready to go on a jet ski and test them out. So we got these in, and then this morning these also came in. Ooh. Okay, so what these are, 
You know what Tyrus Bomb is. You know what Wild Lettuce is. All of the natural painkillers. Boom. Now so is it, is it like a sticker or is it like a, a raised sticker? I don't know how else it's to... A, it's, a, it's a patch. Okay, patch. And it can be used over 200 times, washable and everything. And it's for pain. So we got these pain patches that we're getting ready to release. Um, and wherever the pain is at, you can just place it. And they're reusable. So you'll get a pack of six, 12, 24, et cetera. And, and so basically, let's say you're, you got your knees. Okay. You could stick one on each knee, maybe even front and back, wear it, and then wash them and stick them back on the little plastic thing until yep. the next time you need it. And you can use them over 200 times each. Yep, between one to 200 times. Yep. Wow. And yep. they have all the pain-killing frequencies in one little spot. Right. So you know, and here's a, here's a cool thing too. Mm -hmm. Um this this blue this blue um sticker here on top of it can actually be peeled off so you can use the other side. What do you mean? There's the two sides to it. Oh, oh, blue, blue, yeah, the blue sticks off. I mean, you could take it off. Okay, so like if the sticky part on the bottom kind of doesn't get sticky anymore, you turn it around. Woo, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah so we, we, um, we, uh, I, 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 I got them out the box and started putting them on everybody. <laughs> wow, that's genius. That is yeah. genius. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you already know what wild lettuce can do. It's it's like it's like um, uh, wild lettuce is, is like um, oxycontin, right? But without the addic addiction, it's oxy, right? So wild lettuce frequencies is in that tigress bomb frequencies. All of the major pain killing, natural painkillers, including avocado seeds frequencies, are in that. Did you even know avocado seeds can remove paint? No. Okay. Well, Dad did. <laughs> They're a little big to eat, so no, I didn't. <laughs> well, you don't eat them. You blend it up. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's I mean, genius. I like that. Yeah. Even um, even cannabis, CBD, you got, you got, you know, that's in there too. Yeah. So no matter where you got pain at, you put it there, and then you got a permanent energy. Constantly cleaning it up, removing the paint, and healing at the same time. So it's basically like having a charm on. You know how I always say, "Put the charm here, put the charm there." Now you don't have to. You got you got a six pack of stickers that will last for as long as you need it. Awesome news! So we're gonna have to have like a bundle where we can get like a case of a hundred of them because we're all gonna want to give them around to our friends and family. Like everybody has a, a twinge here or there, you know what I mean? Right, 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 right. And that's a good that's a good way to show people how you know how it works and how how energy works. Yeah. Um, they do have these little patches and stickers from all these other companies. Um, however, you know, because of the chemicals in them, you don't want to really put something you don't trust on it, on yourself. So awesome. all of my products you can trust. I mean, I've been doing this for years. A lot of the people that are following us or part of the group, we've literally brought back from the dead just by showing <laughs> them what to do with our products. Yeah. So um, I'm, I heal people. I don't only destroy or eliminate shit. I heal people. That's I love to do that, by the way. I love to talk shit. I love to heal people. <laughs> I love to evaporate people. I, I, I love to laugh. Yeah, all that. All the above. Yeah. yeah. I'm laughing at you because you're in Florida and it's, what, 70, 80 right now? Yeah. But because you have the hat on and the sweatshirt, you're making me like think you're in like Antarctica or something, you know? <laughs> 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 well, like I said, I'm always in the house, um, yeah. and uh, um, it's always cold in there. So I, I just got used to it. And we like we we all wear them, all of us, even JJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only yeah. one that don't is is Jazz and Sophie and and um, 
I guess you even B wears his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so you got um, the twelve twelve and the move beanies. You got yep. the pain patches or stickers. I, I guess we'll call them pain patches. And then you have water shoes, and those well, are the prototypes you said. Yeah, these are the prototypes. We're still working on it, but they're pretty. Yeah. They, they're super comfortable. Yeah. I forgot I was wearing them. Yeah. Well, you could probably just wear them around like shoes, actually. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah. That mm -hmm. sounds like fun. I, I was wondering what's going to happen in the winter. Do you always wear your uh, Star Wars Crocs even in the winter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, wear, I, wear, I used to wear my slippers in the winter for years. Like yeah. years. Yeah. Everybody used to think I was crazy. Yeah. You got this big ass coat on and you got slippers on and shorts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Any other products that you have coming out that are um Well, we got we got lotions coming. We got um we got full spectrum CBD coming out. That's gonna be a hitter. That's gonna be a, 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 a that's gonna be something that people are gonna want. Um we got um uh, we got hair products. We got toe, toe, uh, toenail fungus repair products coming out. We got so many cool things coming out. So many. Okay. And um, oh, the main thing that we're working on right now that's a, cha a game changer is free energy devices, small portable ones that you'll be able to take anywhere and hook up your phones. Excuse me, your phones, your tablets. Hair, hair dryers, whatever you need, you're going to be able to plug into this device and it's going to work. So we're literally working on that. And of course, you already know I've been working on the other device that dad has me working on for the vehicles. So these devices are smaller than the car one? No, they're a little bit bigger than the car one. But they're going to have, they're going to be, you're going to be able to plug things directly into them. And they'll be portable, so you can put them in a purse. You put them in the purse, you go about your business. Your phone dies, plug it right up. Oh, okay. You don't ever have to do anything else because the device itself has the energy, has enough power to right. power whatever you want. Right, right. So if, if I had, for instance, if I had them available right now, we would send them all around the world where there's natural disaster, or should I say, GNO, GM, uh, uh, right, yeah, those Created disasters, disasters right, yeah, yeah, right, those disasters everywhere to yeah. um, help out the, the people in that area have internet, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. So, I'm also, I mean, dad pushed this in front of the line because of the Moses West situation. Um, I gave him 20 grand to help with the, with the efforts to help get the machines there. They, they've done that. There are people drinking fresh water now. However, a lot of the money went to fuel, to fuel these devices. That's a, that's a problem. That being said, we are working on things to make those devices more efficient where you don't even have to use anything but a free energy device or a hydrogen generator hooked up to it so that the same water that that fucking machine makes can be used to power it. We got it all. We just, dad is just putting everybody together slowly but surely. Awesome. Awesome news. Very, very awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, that being said, Moses West and his team are working on a, um, there's another company that want to, that are helping put out these tents, get these tents to people. Um, because of the weather that, you know, everything is getting colder up that way. Um, they're putting the, they're putting um, whatever the wording or whatever together and talking to the, these tent manufacturers because the tents themselves um, hold in heat and all that for the people. So we're, we're working on that together right now, too, to make sure we can get that as many tents as possible out to the people. Um, and if you... Um, um, what you call it? If if um, if you know of anybody else that can get tents or have a company that makes these type of tents, or or just 
you know, those those sleeper bags that are that are super um, thermal proof or whatnot. Let me know so I can make sure it goes to the to them too. Okay. Now we're we we got all types of stuff happening everywhere. Awesome, awesome. Sounds like you've got so much going on. It's very exciting. Yeah, and and I'm and I'm I'm I'm, I'm you know I'm the funding that I have is is depleting, so um, I need to do more sales or I just need more people to buy some products or whatnot. Right. Um, the donations are good and everything, but I really don't ask for donations. I never really did. Um, I have been asking for donations for Moses and their team. Um, so now that you guys have their link, you can just go to straight to them. Um, I donated myself a bunch of times, so <sighs> everything's good. We are we are we are patiently waiting for Dad to give us access to our funding. We've already seen proof of funds, so there's astronomical amounts of funding just waiting for the access. All right. And uh, you had given us also this governmental link for those in the U.S. that were unable to work during the pandemic. So take advantage of that is the word. Yeah, yeah. So you guys, even if you didn't work through the COVID-19 bullshit or the, the, the jab or whatever, um, you worked. You worked on taking care of your family. You worked on taking care of your mother. You worked on taking care of A, yeah. B, C. And um, it's it's designed in a way to, in a way where if you put all I want to say if you put all the all the right answers you'll get denied. <laughs> Got ya. It's fucked up, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, instead of just putting it out there and say, "Hey, listen, we got six billion plus dollars put away or hoarded." by this company or this bank or this institution for COVID-19 victims, but we really don't want you to have it. Um, but um, just go ahead and fill this out and we'll decide if you get to have it or not. What the fuck is that about? You all destroyed people's lives with this pandemic. Give the people the fucking money and stop playing games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know. All right. Um, that's another reason why, you know, I, I constantly complain to dad about our funding because we we we'll we'll be we'll be in position to eliminate all of this shit. All of this shit overnight. And they already know I don't follow no rules. I don't care. You're gonna you're gonna try to keep something away from me that belongs to me. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> right. Right. Well, I thank you so much for the update. Like all of us are super excited. We can see what's happening out there. You're sharing a lot of great content and just what you've told us today is very encouraging and um, very exciting. Right, 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 right. Um, there was another thing of, of some, uh, some guy that's calling himself the king and Q and all this bullshit. This bullshit. They're, they're only, there's only one king, and that's me. <laughs> and the whole world is about to find out, so I don't care. Is that the guy you shared a couple of days ago, and he had yeah. uh, put uh, pictures of himself like King Arthur or whatever? King these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right anything else you want to say today uh just um just stay stay in love stay in light service service always do you know help each other out enlighten people um talk about the good things talk about what you know talk about what you've been taught um show people how you can transfer energy from one place to another like i taught you these type of things can't be unseen, especially when you hit someone's gas tank. All of you guys that took my method serious can do it. So show everybody, show it, show it, show it, show it. Let's get this shit done. Let's get this, you know. Let's get let's get ourselves on the other side of these these um, these these hard dark times. 
um, that was orchestrated by the uh, Draco reptilian vampire, whatever, right. all the different groups, because it's not just one group. Right. However, there is one group of us, you know, so we are battling all of these groups at the same time, and we already won. Awesome. 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 Thank you so much for your time, your trouble, your encouragement, and all you've done to help us. You're all welcome. You're all welcome. All right. Thanks. Looking forward to the next video. Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> all right. Talk to you then. All right. Love you. Love, love you. Too. all. Be safe.